My name is Dan Sturdivant, and in this video, we're going to learn about all the different types of track maps that are available in Race Studio 2. So I race competition carts, and I'm also a writer for Cart Pulse, which is designed to gather information about the sport of karting and put it into an easy to find place. So when I got in touch with Roger Cadell, who's the national trainer for Aimsport, we decided to put together some videos about how to use karting data in Race Studio. We've broken them up into these little mini vignettes, hopefully to make it easy to consume. But if you have questions about whatever we cover, just leave a comment below and we'll put it in another video. So I'm going to turn it over to Roger and take it from there. So Roger, you know, we get a lot of questions uh, like via Twitter and uh, through some of the YouTube comments about the different types of maps throughout Race Studio. I think there are like four or five of them. Um, can we just go through the different types of maps you can pull up and kind of how to use them just so can we can clear up some questions we're getting? Exactly. I, um, I give seminars all around the country and I do a lot of track side support. And the, uh, the question of track maps is one of the ones I get more, more often than anything else. So uh, I would like to chat about that. Let's, let's talk about, uh, you know, there's really three main ones that get confusing for folks. So uh, let's chat about them. Let's open it. Let's open up a test in race studio analysis. We're going to start on the analysis side and we'll end with some, uh, some, some tracks and some maps that we load onto the hardware, which is in a different piece of software. So, so first, let's just open up a test. And um, you know, let's just uh, let's let's minimize this down, and and um, get everything kind of sized correctly, so we can see both. But first, we're going to start with a, a GPS map that is open, right? And um, and that's one of the maps that's a, that's available to us. So we, we start with a we start with our, our, our just a, our best lap, and we've got the the GPS map open here on the side. And the GPS map is, is to me it's the it's kind of my go-to map. It's it's where I spend most of my time nowadays. Now that we have GPS, is 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 so readily available and usable by our users. So uh, this, with the black background in Race Studio 2 analysis, is a driven line map. It is basically taking your position every tenth of a second. I'm going to put this cursor here right at the start finish line. So right here is where we were at the start finish line, and then every tenth of a second, which is the rate that we're gathering GPS data. It's based, if you can't think of it, it's, 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 it's making a dot every tenth of a second, and then we connect the dots. Mm. So as, as I'm going to scroll in the, in the measures window here and watch the X over in the, in the main, in, in the GPS map, as you're going around the track, wherever I have the cursor in the main window, this map is showing where I'm at on the track. That is a driven line map. If the driver would have gotten down into turn, into turn two down here and spun it out or went straight through on accident, the, the that track map you would have shown the driver <laughs> heading straight off the track and in, into the tires. Mm. So the uh, that is truly a driven line map where the driver went. Okay, that's our GPS track map. We have another map that is that is uh, it's not based on GPS coordinates but rather a, c a computed location on the track and it's called you know it's our it's our, what we call our standard track map I, i've already got one built for this particular one we've got a couple of videos that we've uh, already created that are on our youtube site that talk about uh, you know what the standard track map is and how to build it but this is it's got the white background it is the standard track map and it is you can tell by the shape even though this is not a you know an absolute location driven map by the gps it is a rollout distance from the start finish line and then how far we went based on lateral g sensors and rollout distance and we generate this track map and we break it into splits we break it into segments so we can do our split reports and 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 three or four other things that we do inside the software that we talk about in some of those other videos as well but this track map if you look at it i'll pull this over a little bit closer to the gps map you can see that they're shaped almost exactly the same obviously the gps track map if you have two laps two drivers going down there and we're comparing them you can see exactly when one person turned in and how wide they went in the corner because this truly this gps map is truly a driven position map if we were comparing two drivers and using the standard track map this is like the, the width of a razor blade, right? There, there is no left and right on this map. It's just an X, how far along down the track you are from the start finish line where we create this map. So while this one has some real power to it as knowing where we are on the track and being able to break it into segments, the GPS map gives us where you were on the track left and right. If you did a late apex or you, you know, you, you, you did some different things with your cart to try some different things, you'll see it on the GPS map, but not on the, the standard 
you know, standard track map. So those are the two inside of Ray Studio 2 analysis that get a little confusing. And the, um, the, I get some questions sometimes. People will be looking for a track map to send into their Micron 5 or into their into their smarty cam and they so they start looking in, in some of the different folders and if if we open up this map pull down menu and we go to the map manager we can actually open up the oops let me get this out of the way we can open up the maps folder where all of these maps these regular standard track maps are stored we can open that up and you see that these have a you know they're under race studio 2 and tracks and they have an mp extension every track map you built as a standard track map will be stored in this folder. So that some people get confused that that is a track map that they may want to to be able to uh, to use for other things. But the, the these MP files are just for just for these these um, these standard track maps here. And you can share those with your friends. You can do different things. But I tend to build one if I really want one. I tend to build one you know very quickly. And we've we've created another map. Uh, I'm sorry, another video on how to build those. So they're fairly quick. So that's the difference between inside of analysis between a standard track map with the white background and a GPS map with the black background. And that's in the analysis side. Now ahead of your run, you may want to send a track. Uh, with a map into your Micron 5, your 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 uh, your MXL2, you know some of the automotive products, or into your Smarty Cam. And we have a different piece of software that you use to configure everything, and that's called Ray Studio 3. I'm going to pop it open here real quickly, and here's that same track, that same SEMA International Motorsports track, and this is under the track function in Ray Studio 3. It's this tracks icon up here in the upper left-hand corner. And then I did a, just a, a real quick filter on SIMA for SEMA. And, and there is that track. Now the difference between this one is really, it has the, it has the assigned coordinate values for the start finish line, which is this little red you know, dash here across the little, the little track. And then, so you send that into your Micron 5 so you get your automatic start finish line, um, you know, your start finish coordinates and your, and your lap times automatic while you're running. And then the 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 other purpose of having this particular one with if your if your track has this small little graphic, which we can build, and there's I've created some videos on that as well. But if you have a Smarty Cam, this is the graphic that gets sent into the Smarty Cam. So you would connect a cable from your laptop, open up Ray Studio 3 in the tracks function, you click on you know, highlight and put a checkbox on there, connect your Smarty Cam, and then send this little graphical map into your Smarty Cam. So when you're watching your graphic, your, your videos later on after after each event, there will be a little a, a, a graphic on your Smarty Cam video, and there will be a little dot following you around, so you know exactly where you're at uh, you know, at any time during your videos as well. So those are really the three main places that you see track tracks and track maps with Race Studio products, with 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 Aim Sports products. This one is the Race Studio Three. This is a pre-session type of a setup here. You send this into your your Micron Fives and your and your Smarty Cams ahead of time, and then when you go in, after you get your data. You have these two maps, a GPS map, or your standard, you know, standard track map with the white background that allows you to segment out the track. So those are your three main different track maps in, in the AIM, AIM Sports software. So that's the end of this AIM Learn Fast video. We've been taking comments from throughout social media and trying to come up with new topics that are most useful. So feel free to leave a comment below or get a hold of us on Facebook or on Twitter and just let us know any questions you have or any things that you like about these videos. We try to put up new videos every Tuesday, so just stay tuned to our channel and come back for more videos.